Impossible Battle 21, and it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these, which was unplanned. I've been busy fighting battles elsewhere, but this has always been in the back of my mind, and I've been getting saves this whole time. And there is a lot that I'm gonna have to go through, but first of all, this one comes to me from Dimitri of the Discord, also a patron. I think he's my longest standing patron so far. He's been a patron for years and he is a connoisseur of military tactics and strategy and it really shows with this challenge he's given me. He has sailed from Izu, I presume, all the way around the south coast up to Kyoto and he is now besieging Kyoto with a versatile, diverse army replete with katana samurai, matchlock samurai, fire rockets, fire projecting mangonels, matchlock heroes, <laughs> and a small, very small, minimalist cavalry contingent. So that's 2,340 against 4,600. So we're outnumbered 2 to 1, and they are not pushovers, it's almost all samurai. They've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Yari Samurai there, then another 4, and then 6 Bow Samurai, and of course, 6 Katana Samurai. So they have 6 Katana Samurai, and a fuck ton of Yari Samurai, and also Bow Samurai, and they're coming in from the front, from behind, and to the right. Look at that balance of power. Dimitri calls this the Hojo Sandwich and he writes that it's like the Battle of Alicia because at the Battle of Alicia, Julius Caesar was besieging a fort and his antagonist was Vercingetorix of course, coming to relieve the starving defenders and defeat Caesar. And he had to resist a relieving army that was coming in from behind so he had to basically survive a combined assault on two fronts, in front and behind. And historically, Caesar won that. So we are going to have to do that here as well. He says, In the save, resist the entire mounted nobility of the Hattori clan as they attempt to disrupt your formation with repeat charges. Avoid being encircled by the sortie of the trapped Imperial forces in the front and their perfidious relief army from behind. Push them back with fresh gold tier attack units. Crush them with tip of the spear gunpowder troops and your pair of pocket aces, the meme catapults, <laughs> destiny calls. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how we do this. Terrain is a challenge. We've not got any decent hills that we can use, and whichever hills we do have, not really got much trees. And we have this impassable terrain that I wanted to use, but I couldn't think of a way to do it. And there's water here, so an entire impassable region at the corner of the map. Meme catapults.敵軍の指揮は藩主自ら取っておるようじゃ。あの首を取った者には褒美を与えるぞ。カラスの餌にしてくれるわ。Alright, here we go, post commentary, let's do this. So, I'm making three groups with the fire rockets. One fire rocket per group, so that I can access fire rockets, a salvo on each hockey. 
And this is a perfect example of why hotkeys are so important for proper interfacing. I'm trying to make the most of what I've got here, and I'm trying to do something I've never really been able to do before or seen before, which is to use fire rockets and fire projecting mangonels as part of a winning battle plan that is efficient and fully utilises everything I've got. I've also got hero matchlocks, which I can't really find a specific role for, but I am trying to use the matchlocks. So what I'm doing here is designing the formation of the main battle line that I'm going to have as a fallback, and I'm going to try and do as much damage as possible with the fire rockets, the mangonels, and the cavalry, and then have the katanas and the matchlocks as the fallback to deal with the remnants. And I'm going to deal with the army that's coming in from the back first, because it comes in really close. Just over there, at the trees, a whole army emerges and funnels around. So that's what I'm trying to take advantage of. The fact that they're coming in so close and are going to have to funnel around water. And I'm going to bait the cavalry out first with my cavalry. And fire rockets are really powerful. They absolutely eviscerate cavalry units. So they're kind of underutilized and underappreciated, just like Kisho Ninja. Fire Rockets and Kisho Ninja together have the potential to devastate armies. Even just a few units of each can wreak havoc. And there's a micro problem in Shogun 2 with groups, because you can only have two units or more per group. So that means that you can't hotkey individual Fire Rockets. Oh man, direct hits. But you can get somewhat get around that, or mitigate it, by grouping Fire Rockets with a Yari Ashigaru. And then you can send Yari Ashigaru at the units that you're firing at, and what the hell caught by a rocket. Seeing as the natural target of Fire Rockets is Cavalry, it somewhat complements. So, I've got three units of Yari Ashigaru here guarding the Fire Rockets, and I'm trying to make the most of that setup. This is what I would have to do, I think, to use multiple fire rockets in an army, like I've got here. I have one unit of fire rockets per group, and someone please mod in single unit groups, holy shit. That salvo that it does is enough to devastate a cavalry unit, even if it brings it down to 20 or 30 men, like it did there. That's enough to have the unit rout when it contacts your battle line, so that's all you really need. And then there's another wave of cavalry coming. This is what Dimitri warned me about, successive waves of cavalry. Oh, I haven't counted the cavalry that they've got, but I think it's like 10 or 15 units, a lot. And look at that, dink, 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 one, two, three. And now I just let the salvos come in while trying to micromanage the Yari Ashigaru. So I'm trying to shield them and rely on the, the fire rockets to do the job. But there's so much cavalry and it's a lot to keep track of. So I'm just keeping the Yari Ashigaru close and keeping an eye on everything. And there we go again. And just like that, I've resigned three cavalry units to their doom, and all I have to do is wait. My lord, their general has fallen. The cat is this is another one of those things that I always wanted to do and always knew was possible. I just never got around to it, but I've finally done it in 2020. Fucking fire rocket unit deleters, tactical unit deletion, like. <laughs> Hotkeying them like that. Yep. And it makes me think that campaigns of fire rockets, good fire rocket utilization could be possible. And I think the upkeep for fire rockets is not that high, it's only about 150. And they get five salvos each. So you can time your salvos with charges. And look at that, look at that matchlock fire coming in over the heads of my men. And I've pulled the mangonels off. I've unlimbered and I've pulled them behind my line. So they got off a decent amount of damage. There's trails of bodies. And then I've deleted most of the cavalry with the fire rockets. And then I've got my matchlocks firing over the heads of my men as they pull behind the line. And then look at that exchange. Katana's swapping for Yari Ashigaru while matchlocks screen the charge. And I've got Katana Samurai now charging into the hordes there. And they have experience, they are decent samurai with experience in the melee. So I need to start packing into that with Yari walls. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to get my fire rockets in position. And I see the general there and I'm trying to assassinate him. And that 
Yari Samurai there made it to my matchlock line but took some matchlock volleys and then I'm charging through with the katanas to finish them. And now we're contacting. So the Hattori army is fully engaged. The Shogunate army is coming in. Their bows have not had any real targets. Oh shit, there's my units wavering there. I need to start committing all of my infantry now. I've got a narrow front to fight on while I can flank with cavalry and hopefully send in some really precise fire rocket salvos. And I've got katanas charging. No way, that's Yari Ashigaru come down the hill. I've got katanas charging in from the flank there. I'm repositioning my match locks to fire off the hill into them. And this is all coming together pretty well, I think. I'm, I'm actually targeting the generals. You can general snipe with fire rockets quite reliably. And that's what I'm going for. I think I did it on the... The Shogun army. I think I might have killed the Shogun. <laughs> and now I'm sending my cavalry around again. Only two units, but I'm making the most of them. They've done well so far. They've baited and they've pulled units out of position. And there's my matchlock set up there, that's really nice. And I see this flanking Yark Katana Samurai, oh yeah, Katana Samurai. So that's going to come and get my matchlocks on the melee. But I can then commit my cavalry to that while pulling back. And then once they get stuck on the cavalry, my matchlocks can turn and fire into them. And I think I might have succeeded at killing the general there. Because I've wiped out that whole army, it's just the Shogunate that are left. And then, yeah, I pull off with the cavalry. And then the matchlocks can finish them. And holy shit, look at those guys flying. And there's the matchlock heroes at the back taking bow fire. Haven't taken much bow fire at all. And now I'm going to try and break them. This is it. This is when I ch try and chain route. So I'm routing them from the left across. And the matchlocks have succeeded over there. And here we go. I'm just now trying to combine all of my might, all of my components for combined arms to start breaking the army from the left. And the bows just stand and watch. They're impotent, they can't really do anything. They're firing at my matchlocks, but this doesn't really depend on the matchlocks, so it's futile. And that's it. The chain route. And that was really good. I think that's it. And now fire rockets are concentrating on the bows, and you can see the balance of power bar just swinging up as guys get tossed like leaves by the dozen. And that's it. Chain route. The bows were all that remained, and they're taking <laughs> sustained fire rocket salvos. And I think I might be doing friendly fire there. And yeah, heroic victory. And I made that look way easier than it was. That was a hell of a challenge to coordinate and choreograph. All of the components of that army were put to use, and they were used in conjunction. And yeah. KDA 4, less than a thousand lost. Fire Rockets topped the kills. Katana Samurai did well as well. And yeah. Hotkeying Fire Rockets and Hotkeyed Cavalry. Control. Dominating the battlefield with pure control. Satisfying. And something you may want to try if you play the Hojo. And that's it. Hope you liked that one. Thanks to Dimitri for the save and keep them coming. Hold your sandwich. If you appreciate my work and would like to support, I have a Patreon. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, The Rode 451, Halcyon, Robert Sparks, and Dake.